Okay, so part three. I uh, added a submersible pump inside of the tank and a large radiator. And then uh, I've got a couple of heavy metal fittings there to hold the uh, intake side down so the pressure doesn't cause it to shoot up. Before I added all this, it was actually staying at 30 C. And I basically just shut the system down long enough to get all this uh, pump and everything in place and then restarted it so it's only dropped by 4C so far. I'll be keeping an eye on that to see uh, how stable that stays. And that's uh, system temperature, not CPU temperature. The CPU temperature is incorrect. This is an uh, older PC with a uh, Pentium 4 in it, which... Uh, does not have the diode on board like the Core 2 Duos now have. The uh, the radiator I purchased from uh, an older man, it's a small radiator from uh, an older Toyota, like an uh, early 80s small uh, subcompact Toyota of some kind. The uh, pump is supposed to be 258 gallons per hour, and I believe after pumping it through the radiator, it's cutting it back so much it's more like about 20 to 30. So I will be investing in a bigger pump here eventually. And uh, some sort of a shroud and large fan, or possibly several fans. I'm going to have to measure the diameters of the radiator and see if I can uh, cover more surface area with one fan and a shroud or uh, try and go for uh, covering the entire radiator with uh, smaller fans, which is a possibility. So that's what I've accomplished since the last video.